So uh, today we'll be doing another normalization question for this receipt. So we had to normalize this receipt up to free NF, up to third normal form. So we have a receipt. So first thing what we have to do is we have to take all the attributes of the fields we found fine in the receipt. We have to trans put it in a UNF, a normalized form. So this is a receipt. So any receipt can be normalized. We can bring it to one table, then we normalize it up to free NF. So we break it into several tables. Now, this is a gallery customer history form. So this is just sample data here. So here we have customer number. I've put in my UNF, I have put customer number here in my table as a field. Customer name. Address, so this is, I understand through this, uh, by, uh, by, by seeing the receipt, I understand this is an address. Then I have phone. So the person has purchased, art, so he had these details in the purchase. The artist, so I understand that it is an artist number, this is artist name, the title that has been bought, purchased book or I don't know CD purchase date and then sales price so now here in my unnormalized form I have all artist here artist number I've broken this into artist number artist name sales price is here purchase date is here phone number address customer name etc so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine columns. Let me see if I'm right. This is one column, two, three. This is one column, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Because here it's two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's good. So we have these nine columns here. Now, first thing when we are normalizing, as I've said before, we need to first identify functional dependencies. So as I perceive here, I've put five, uh, one, one of my table in 1NF has to have compound key. As per rule, 1NF, we have to have one table which has composite key, more than one column as primary key. So here I see I have title, customer number, customer number, and I've put purchase date. Why I've put a purchase date together? Because that customer can come again, purchase the same title, but in another date. So that's why I've put these three together. Had I put title, customer number, artist. Next time a customer comes to buy, I won't be able to add it in my table. For this reason, I've put the title, customer number, and purchase date together. So this can determine customer name, address, phone number, and sales price. If I know the title, I can, I can determine uniquely the artist number, artist name. If I know the artist number, I can determine uniquely the artist name. If I know the customer number, I can determine uniquely customer name, address, and phone number. So this is how I've identified my functional dependencies. Now, for 1NF. So 1NF, we have to ensure that the non-key attributes are identified by the primary key. So here we have these three columns. This is my compound key table. And I've, I have to put a name to the table. I have put purchase details here all right so now I've put purchase details here 
So I have title, customer number, and purchase date. All three together form a primary key. So when we have more than one attribute as primary key, it is known as a composite key or a compound key. When I have put customer name, address, phone number, sales price. What's important is that when I'm going to move from 1NF to 2NF, I know I will need to remove partial uh, dependencies. Partial dependencies means, like I already see in this table, in my 2NF, customer number can determine customer name, address, phone uniquely. In my 2NF, I would remove these two columns for my to identify these three columns. So when I'm doing my table in 1NF, I should already see what will be in my 2NF, what will be in my 3NF. So here I already see I have partial dependency that I, I can break to 2NF. So it's okay, the compound key is okay. And I've got another table, title lib, I've named it. Title is the primary key. Artist number, artist name. Title can determine who is the art, what is the artist number and the artist name. Now I see in this table, I already find my transitive dependency. If I know artist number, I can determine artist name. So I already see that I will be having table up to 3NF. So I've rightly identified my primary key. So these are the two tables for my 1NF. So I have a title, the different titles here. So this, I have this, I have this. These two dates are not same, so that's why it's okay in this to be in the primary key. Well, I have only one customer, but this is just sample data. One receipt has, for different customers, the same thing applies. Jackson Elizabeth, address, phone number, and then the sales price. Title lib, I have this, these four records there. Now, for 2NF, second normal form, we have from 1NF to move to 2NF, we have to remove partial dependencies. So, as I already told you, in this table, I don't need title, purchase date to identify uniquely a customer detail. So, just knowing customer number, I can determine customer name, address, and phone number. So, these three columns will disappear in this table. Okay, here I put the name, which name I have, this one. purchase details, I put this, purchase details, details, I have to give a table name to every table I'm creating. Now, in my 2NF, these three columns will disappear, so it's gone, so I have only sales price left here. And I have a customer table here that has been born. Customer number, then it determines customer name, address, phone number in my 2NF. We had a second table in my 1NF. So here I have only one column as primary key. So this is going to come as it is in my 2NF. Just come down as it is my 2NF. Because it has only one column as primary key. So we don't have to apply any rule here. Now, for free NF, purchase details, we don't, now, 2NF to free NF, we have to remove transitive dependencies. So, when we remove transitive dependencies, this means that I have to compare non-key attributes. Here, I have only one column in my first table of 2NF. For compound key, I have only one non-key attribute, so I can't compare. So it's going to come here in my free NF as it is, purchase details. All right, customer has got, this it has to come together with customer number. But for title, if I know artist number, I can determine artist name uniquely. So here this is caller transitive dependency so we have to remove the transitive dependency here i'm going to remove artist name all right 
But just see, here we have a repetition, so we have to remove it here. We have to delete it. It appears only once in the record. So that's how we remove redundancy. We are uh, remove when we are doing normalization. We are removing redundancy. We are removing repetition. So uh, in the same time, we are optimizing the system. So artist number three, Carol Channing, fourteen, and then fifteen. Artist number, I think. Uh, not correct. Let me check the receipt. Yeah, it's both it's Dennis Springs, but the artist number is not same. So it could be different people also. So here it is like this. So here it's my free NF, up to my free NF. So I've broken it, artist number, artist name, artist number is a primary key. So from 2NF, I remove the transitive dependency. That's where we get this table. So that's it. Thank you. Hope you've understood the explanation. How we broke this receipt. We, made, we did normalization based on a receipt. Thank you.